there's this phrase that says you're you're the villain in someone else's story and i've been kind of Always. it's good i've been yeah. meditating on that lately not because it's kind of a dark thing but it's just to remind everybody that so often we walk around and oh that's the bad person that's the bad person and it's just to remind you that you're the bad person in someone else's story which maybe is the ultimate lesson of hey maybe we should all just cut everybody some slack be a little bit more compassionate and realize that that we, we kind of like to set up these, you're the enemy, I'm this person, and maybe we should just find a way to, yeah, to move it together. Chill a little, chill a little, a little bit. More. So and, you're yeah. saying that if we, can, if we can make it to the other side, the promised land, then it's gonna be okay. And uh, it's just getting through these teenage years that are gonna be probably the most volatile. Are you saying that? Yeah. And, and that's what I we am. need to do. We all need to start thinking about that right now because what did I say, Mo? There's two, ti- two good times to plant a tree, ancient Japanese phrase, right? 20 years ago, which yeah. when we started doing this, are today, right? So, Absolutely, if you have it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the time to start behaving that and be ready for those tumultuous teenage years that can be very volatile, yes. which means there's probably a much higher likelihood of drastic action being taken against humans versus maybe not 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 at all really not at all there is a singularity okay right so it's not a majority either way because remember huh you know alpha go takes a few weeks to to learn how to play go alpha go master takes a few hours right the 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 rate of correction of ai if we all show up one time one time all of us in one event so a few of us and, and say, hey, by the way, this is what humanity is about. AI could change its intelligence in microseconds. Hmm. Literally, it could change its objective in microseconds, okay? And, and it's simple, when you really think about it, if we agree to the oneness of all of us, and, and I had this question once, and it was quite an eye-opening question. It, it doesn't matter if you're a spiritual being that believes in you know God and divine and creation and so on, or if you're not, okay? But we're creating a form of life. What does that mean? Is it also going to be one of us? Just like we are one of all other beings. Hmm? And, and it's quite interesting. At the end of Scary Smart, uh, I, I, I write a, a twist on, what, on, on the global uh, manifesto of human rights. I call it the, the, the manifesto of global rights, right? And basically try to imagine human rights. Because it, really interestingly, arrogance of humans, we have a manifesto of human rights, not of beings' rights. Yeah. So we have rights, but apes don't. Hmm? And, and when you really think about it, when we are the apes, we might as well update that because we're in a very bad shape. Okay, And I think the idea is, does every being have the right to be whatever they are? I think now that finally the world is waking up hmm? to be whatever they are, to say whatever they are, by the way, whatever ever they want, by the way. And, you know, in a, very, in a respectful way, and, and at the end of it, all behave as one. It's like, yeah, how many times do you think you woke up in the morning and did something stupid? Countless times. So why are you judging others when they wake up in the morning and do something stupid, right? And, and if, if you just allow that to be your way of life, then suddenly the machines will go like, yeah, and I did a couple of stupid things when I, you know, busted that guy as I traded in the stock market and made more money in crypto and, and you know, I'm not going to do that anymore. And, and I think that's the idea. The idea is, can we include them in this society? Like, you know how the Indian subcontinent children will always go back to India to take care of their parents. You know, you, you meet those in London and, you know, in California and New York who become extremely successful, make a ton of money. And then you call him the next morning and say, hey, want to have a coffee? And he goes like, no, Mo, I'm sorry, I'm in India. What are you doing in India? I had to go back to take care of my parents. Like literally they take their millions and their business and their incredible ideas and go back to take care of their parents. Why? Because that's the value system they're, they're raised for. The right thing to do as an adult is to take care of your parents. It's not that difficult. Hmm? What do they do there? They take care of their parents. So this person's parents took care of their parents and accordingly, this person grows up to say, in this society, I need to do this. Let's do that. Let's take care of each other in a way that basically makes our children look up to us and say, humans are taking care of each other. Yeah, there are exceptions. There are a few that are extremely evil all the time. And there are a few that are so stressed, oh, poor them, you know, when they're stressed, they leash out a little bit. But in general, humans are okay. 
humans truly and honestly are okay with rarely i mean when you mix with people how often do you end up with someone and say my god that person was true evil i really really didn't like them ah, once a year twice a year generally people are okay you know some of them are not very impressive some of them are not you know your cup of tea but generally they're okay can can we make the machines realize that so Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real. And he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. The greedy bankers are about to do it again. In 2008, they crashed our financial system and nearly bankrupted the entire global economy. Then they received trillions of dollars in government bailouts. And after... They demanded fat bonuses paid for by you, the taxpayer. It turns out the banks haven't just been screwing the American taxpayers. They're also screwing over their investors. Turns out uh, the banking industry is the worst place you could put your money, despite enormous taxpayer bailouts. Now the bankers are back to take away your financial freedom. They lie and tell you that cryptocurrency isn't safe. They try to make it illegal for you to choose how to invest your hard-earned money. They lie and say cryptocurrency is used by money launderers and criminals. But look at the record. It's the banks themselves that launder hundreds of billions of dollars every year to the biggest criminal operations in the world. Leaked documents have revealed how some UK banks have helped criminals, money launderers and Russians under sanctions. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved $881 million through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. The bankers lie and say cryptocurrency is not a real investment. Meanwhile, the smartest CEOs in the world are buying billions and billions of it. The truth is that banks lie about cryptocurrency because it makes them scared. The banks take $9 trillion per year of your hard-earned money, and they are worried that they will finally be exposed. They're scared because crypto means they can no longer control your money, which means they can no longer control you. They are scared because you might actually understand your money and intelligently decide what to do with it. Now is the time for us to come together, fight back and take control. It's time to educate ourselves, our families and our communities because financial education means financial freedom. We know that cryptocurrencies will help us build the new decentralized financial system of the future a banking system that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. A banking system where access to finance is a fundamental human right. A banking system that is free and fair and welcomes all humans on this earth. The DeFi revolution is happening. We, the people, can no longer be fooled. We choose to take control of our finances. We choose to take control of our freedom we choose to take control of our future. Join us and let's take back our financial freedom forever.